Man, you're going to love this. Laura Langemo joins us live from the Buddy Squirrel Candy Factory in St. Francis, where she's trying out some tasty treats, looking like Lucy. I love Lucy episode where she's on the conveyor belt there. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> You like this? Well, I'm raising my hand, Sean, because I love treats. And I think it'd be a little bit dangerous if I worked here. I've got Richard joining me now, who's the president of Buddy Squirrel Candy and Nut Factory. So many delicious treats being made here. Tell us about some of the things that are made here. What you're going to see this morning is our butter almond coffee that's going to be uh, in mixing, be put on a cooling table. And from the cooling table, it goes over into what we call the enrobing line. And roving means a shower of chocolate, and that's how the candies get chocolate. You're also going to see some of our uh, milk chocolate tags. Ooh. And you'll see some cookies that become chocolate at the bottom, going through what's called the bottomer of the chocolate part of this thing. So, um, and that's even before we get into the nuts and corn. Oh, my goodness. So many things going on here. Right now, we're making toffee, though. And in this uh, first vat that we're looking in here, Richard, what is this, just butter and... Right, that's butter. Of course, all of our products have a secret formula, but uh -oh. basically it starts no with butter. No hints on the secret formula? No hints on the secret formula. You know what <laughs> to happen if I tell it to you. Uh -huh. And then from the butter, it goes to the next area that has the um, um, almond coffee mixture um, that solidifies, solidifies partly, becomes much more of a, a coagulated product before it goes on the cooling table. It's almost ready for that process okay, now. Okay, let's throw it on the table. Can we do that right now? Yep. Here we go. All right. Look at that. Now, it gets put on the table, and then what happens from that point? These are called cooling tables, so that on the table, it will cool down. They'll, they will um, make it evenly flow in there so that it can then solidify. Oh, wow. And then after it's solid, then they'll cut it with the cutting knife. Uh-huh, and after it's cut, oh, look, look at that. They just kind of spread it all out like that. And then after it's spread out, they cut them out, and they look just like this right on over here. What happens then after they're cut up at, at this point right here? From this point, they're put in boxes and carried over to the enrobing lines. And on the enrobing lines, then the people that work there will take them out one by one, set them on the, on the belt uh -huh. that goes under the chocolate. So how long do they have to sit out and cool there? Does it take just a long minutes, time? Just minutes, oh, just not minutes. Not a long time. Michael, how long does it have to cool? Uh, it starts cooling as soon as you pour it on the table. Yeah. Wow. About 10 minutes before so about 10 minutes or so that it just has to sit there. Very cool. Then they cut it up. And then the next step is they go on the enrobing machine enrobing or enrobing line. line. Okay. Right, right. That's where the chocolate is added on top and on the bottom of the product, whether it's butter almond coffee or one of Ooh. our tads or otherwise. Wow. And then it goes through the cooling tunnels. You know, kind of visualize if you lay down on the enrobing belt, and then it first bottoms you, and then it showers you, and then it cools you, and then it wow. packs you. Wow. Wow. Wait. So all people, in chocolate. All in chocolate. That sounds delicious. Now, if people want to come, they can actually go to these tours. Those are offered certain days right. of the week, on right? On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you call in, but we give a tour that will walk you through this whole process. Now, you're on the inside. But you usually got to be on the outside. Usually on the outside, and you go all the way around. So we, we start just where you are, from the kitchen to the enrobing to the packing, and then we get into the roasting of the nuts and the corns. Corns get caramelized, corns get our cheese added to them. So a lot of great things going on here. We're going to be going over to that enrobing machine in just a little bit, but for now, Sean, we're going to throw it back to you in the studio. Backstage pass. Very cool. Thanks, Laura. Money Talks now.